The last time you saw this McLaren F1 GTR, it was being abandoned in a Monza gravel trap by a very disgruntled James Weaver. This weekend, it's out in the third round of the Global GT Championship at Harama in Spain. But before it does that, I'm going to get to drive it. Now, getting into the road car was quite difficult, but this racing version with a rollover gauge, it's almost impossible to get in it. Now, the interior of the road car was pretty spartan, but this racing version, there's no luxury at all. Gone are the nice etched dials to be replaced by an LCD digital display system. The space where I put my golf clubs has been filled by a lot of electronic gadgetry. Also, no sound system. But there's no better sound than that BMW V12. Now, I'd been warned that the engine has got so much torque that a clumsy prod on the throttle with gripless cold tyres will snap the car sideways in an instant. So I eased out of the pit lane slowly, very slowly. On track then for an F1 GTR McLaren, the bee's knees of global GT racing. And I'm very nervous about really pushing such a machine. Road car very soft, gives you instant feedback. Racing car, stiff suspension. The breakaway is much more sudden. And if it goes, it's going to be quick to catch it. Indeed, I took a few more laps than usual to bring the McLaren up to speed as I gently tried to feel my way in, very conscious of the fact that it was needed for a race in just a few days' time. Right, I'm just beginning to really push this McLaren a bit now, but I still haven't found its limits. That's nice. In the end, it never did come, which was probably a good thing. Fourth, third, it's a paddock. This swoop downhill. Oh, break. Carbon brakes really warming up now. Very effective indeed. A lot of lock needed. Steering's getting heavier as the tyre temperatures come in. Feed, feed, feed. More, more, more power. Yeah. Oh, flip, turn, bit more power, back on the brakes. This Brent's head short circuit is not best suited for a 200 mile an hour. Le Mans winning McLaren. And it's not really the sort of place you want to learn about such a car either. But I'm not complaining. Yeah. Because 